Students in Hampton Roads are expressing themselves through art and now it's on display for everyone to see. In today's In Session Report, see how the Virginia Beach mass shooting inspired this one new exhibit. Clearly there's a lot of young voices out there that, that wanted to be heard. At Virginia Wesleyan University, local high schoolers are making their voices heard through art. I believe these are students being led away from a uh, school shooting. Curator John Rudell says the exhibit called Healing and Hope was originally inspired by the mass shooting last May in Virginia Beach. We decided to open up the theme um, to much broader notions of healing and hope. We had uh, students that were dealing with uh, personal issues. We had students dealing with the environment. Uh, students dealing with gun violence. Students from around a dozen local high schools submitted different forms of art, interpreting the assignment in a number of different ways. This one was about like the environmental issues, and I named it uh, Clear Waters because you know, it just shows how beautiful the ocean can be. Granby High School junior Alora Grahowski submitted three different photographs. And this one I took more of like a light approach and I did more of like nature and how nature is healing and just how it's soothing. Each piece offering a different perspective and a different interpretation of hope and healing. This one is called Light at the End of the Tunnel and it's basically just meant to represent that, you know, no matter how dark things get, there's always light. Riddell hopes the exhibit will prove to these young artists they can communicate and even affect change through art. At this venue uh, uh, kind of confirms for them that they have a voice and that their, their voice should be heard. That exhibit is open through Friday at Virginia Wesleyan's library. It's free, so check it out if you can.